Here in the southeastern United States, we have an absolutely incredible diversity of native snake species. These snakes range in all sorts of different sizes, patterns, and ways of living. And with having so many different species right here in our own backyards, we're taught from a young age all these different cheat sheets and cautionary tales. But unfortunately, these tend to be either very inaccurate or just flat out wrong. Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of them. In particular, whether or not baby snakes are more dangerous than adults. This is a common warning that I hear all the time, and the thought process is that baby snakes, being immature like most other animals when they're born, must not have the ability to fully control their venom glands. However, this is assuming that snakes are going to be like other animals, such as chickens, and heck, even human beings for that matter, where they have to be taken care of from birth. Snakes are a very instinctual animal, and from the moment they are born, they are fully capable of living on their own and taking care of themselves. And there is currently no evidence supporting the thought that they are not able to control their venom glands. But let's take a step back and play devil's advocate for a moment. Just like with any other toxin, the severity of an envenomation whenever you're bitten by a venomous snake is going to depend on the toxicity of the venom, which varies between species, and also the dosage of venom that you received. Now the dosage of venom is going to depend on how much venom that particular snake can hold. Let's take a look at this canebrake rattlesnake. His venom glands are located here in the upper lip. Now let's take the same species and compare the juvenile and the adult. They both have venom glands located here in the upper lip, but we obviously can't see them. So let's use some x-ray vision. This is the venom gland of a juvenile. Now this is the venom gland of the adult. It's not very hard to tell that the venom gland of the adult is much larger, even as big as the head of the juvenile. Even assuming that the juvenile snake is going to dump every single drop of venom that it has during a bite, that dosage is not even going to come close to the amount of venom that an adult is going to be able to administer. The adult's venom glands can actually be up to 20 to 50 times larger than the juvenile's. So without evidence to support that they can't control their venom glands and knowing that they carry such a small dose of venom compared to the adults, this is going to make this false. Now with that being said, venom is a very expensive component to make biologically. And it's also these animals only way to secure their food. Both adults and juveniles are not going to want to waste this on something they know they can't eat which means these animals are not looking to pick a fight and they're not looking to bite anybody. They're gonna use their venom as a last resort to try to survive. As long as you take basic precautions in snake territory and make sure to give them a wide berth whenever you find them, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see other videos like it, please make sure to subscribe to keep up with the channel. And if there's a particular topic you'd like me to cover, put it down in the comments. And we'll see you next time.